welcome to my love engineering channel today we are going to see on the new topic of electrical machines before going to the content of the electrical machines first of all i need to clarify what is an electrical machine what is the classification of electrical machines an electrical machine is a device which is going to perform some task what is the task it is going to convert one form of energy into electrical energy either it is a mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy or an electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy based on this fundamental idea we are classifying the electrical machines in two types one is a non rotating machine and another is called a rotating machine all machines are rotating that we all know that all machines are rotating but in electrical there is a static machine the static machine is called non rotating machine the best example for a static machine is a transformer so for for understanding i have mentioned a b and c so in the transformer category we can classify transformer into single phase and three phase based on the construction arrangements we can say a core type transformer shell type transformer and berry type transformer these topics will be discussed in the further lectures will be detailed clear clearly it will be explained detailly okay now in the rotating part i'm going to say a direct current machine and alternating current machine what is a direct current machine a machine may be classified as either a motor or it is a generator you now you take a dc motor there are different types of dc motor uh, dc shunt motor dc series motor and dc common motor this common motor is classified based on the arrangement of the two winding that is a shunt winding and series winding we can say as a long shunt and short shunt simultaneously we can say classify a dc generator based on the excitation one is a self excited in the self excited we can say a dc shunt dc series dc compound this compound can be classified as a long shunt or short shunt again this further this two can be classified as cumulative and differential and one more thing is separately excited dc generator so normally when you are talking about a motor or generator the construction parameter will be same the construction of a machine that is a motor or generator will be same only the working principle will be differ so this can be explained in the future lectures now coming to the classification of alternating current machines i have mentioned c this is explained here you see when you are seeing an alternating current machine the output is an ac that is an alternating current now here we are again a machine is classified in two types one is a machines synchronous machines and asynchronous machine what is a synchronous machine in synchronous machine again a machine may be classified as a motor or generator here we can say as a synchronous motor and here we are classifying as a synchronous generator it is otherwise called as an alternator based on the construction of the rotor rotor is a rotating pot here we can say a salient pole rotor this is for a low speed application and this is a non salient pole or as a cylindrical rotor it is for high speed application coming to the part of asynchronous machine the best example for asynchronous machine is an induction machine here the induction machine is classified into a single phase and three phase by the construction of the rotor that is a rotating pot we can classify as a squirrel gauge rotor this is for low speed application and slip ring rotor for the high speed this is the basic fundamental of classification of electrical machines in future lectures i will teach and individually in all the topics if you have any doubt comment me like me and subscribe my channel thank you